Am I using HTC Vive Wands with a HP Reverb G1 headset? <laughs> Why, yes I am. Thanks for asking. And you'll find out how right after the intro. If you're anything at all like me, you've got an HP Reverb G1 and these really, well, I don't really like these Windows Mixed Reality controllers very much, so I wanted to see if I could use a better controller on there. And I went online and I found that people were using the Knuckles controllers with the Reverb G2 headset. So I went on a quest to see if I could make my Vive controllers work with my G1, and they do. So what you have to do is you have to have a Vive setup. So you gotta have the lighthouses up here, you gotta have your Vive controllers hooked up, everything as though you were going to use the Vive. Now I unplugged the HDMI on the Vive headset from the link box, just so it wouldn't be confused on which headset I was using. Don't put any headsets on now, don't run Steam, don't do anything. What you need to do is download the free program. It's an open VR space calibrator. space calibrator. And then install that on your Windows PC without doing anything. Just go to Steam and run Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR. It'll turn on your, your headset, your reverb, and it'll bring you into Steam Home. Now in Steam Home, you'll have to press the thumbstick on your Mixed Reality controller and that'll bring up a dashboard, a Steam dashboard, and there should be a circular, op, a circular button type thing. So you press that little open VR program menu and you'll select the space calibrator space from there. Calibrator. Now you take your Windows Mixed Reality controller, I, I just started with the right one, and you'll see a curved screen which shows the space calibrator thing. Space It'll show your, your uh, Windows Mixed Reality headset and then two controllers, or it should. And then over here, it should say two controllers of the Vive controllers. And then you find a Vive controller and your, I'll say the right controller for the Mixed Reality. And there's a button that says that it will give you a signal. It should buzz the controllers and if they both buzz, then you're good to go, that you've got the right controller and you've got the right controller. If not, go get the other Vive controller and that'll be the right controller. Then all you have to do is put this one on top of that. Now watch out because you're going to block the light sensors here so this controller will no longer be able to sense the cameras on the helmet, on your headset helmet. <laughs> and so once you do this, you can just click the menu for cal calibration and then you're ready to go. And at that point, I just moved the controllers around like this while it was calibrating. And I put it on the long calibration. I believe I picked that. I don't know, it depends on what you want. If you want to do the fast one and it works for you, that, that's great. Scanners are locked on. We're ready to assume control anytime. So anyway, once you're done with that, turn everything off, turn, turn off the, the steam, turn off your controllers, turn off the Windows Mixed Reality that's running the headset on Windows. Turn off your space heater and unplug it. All I did was I turned these controllers on and boom, it lit up the headset. It brought me to Steam Home and the controllers were already active in Steam Home. And from then, you don't have to worry about it. You can have fun with your reverb headset finally. Uh, that's one of my pet peeves with VR when the computer can't load fast enough or something and then it skips a frame or so. Anyway, let's have some fun. Great. Now find the big wheel. What's the big wheel? What's going on here? What am I even doing? Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Please consider going to my patreon.com slash Wheatstone Homes page and become a patron. I have some really cool stuff coming up for the highest tier. I'm going to have some tutorials about how I do 3D videos and I'm going to have some background material stuff on there. Things that you won't be able to see here on YouTube. And I'll throw in a few free things every once in a while. So you want to check that, that channel out even if you aren't a member. I'll see you next time. Have fun. Space